The Pacinian corpuscle, also known as the lamellar corpuscle, is one of the major types of sensory receptors found in the skin. It can be hard to keep all the different sensory receptors straight, so in this video, I'll share my visual mnemonic to help you remember the Pacinian corpuscle come test day. Welcome, welcome to the Pack Guy World Championships. We've got a stunning lineup today with all of the world's leading Pack Guy players. Let's take a look. Wow, that guy really knows how to play Pack Guy. The Pack game here should anchor you to the Pacinian corpuscle because Pack sounds a lot like Pacinian or Paxinian. But uh, I'm just not good enough to play in the tournament myself. I'm the lowly assistant here responsible for giving our players massages as they play. Top players have to be relaxed to play at peak performance, right? Anyway, take a look at how I'm giving this guy a deep massage. This deep massage should help you remember that Pacinian corpuscles are found in the deep skin layers, like in the dermis and hypodermis, as well as in the deep structures, including joints and ligaments. Yeah, I'm really pressing deep in here. I bet it feels great. So now that we know where Pacinian corpuscles are located, Let's talk about what exactly they are. Take a look at the gaming screen. You see, when you get this good at Pat Guy, the cherries and typical fruits disappear. Yeah, instead, this Pat Guy eats onions. Mmm. This onion should help you remember that Pacinian corpuscles have onion skin like lamellar rings. This is also why Pacinian corpuscles are also known as lamellar corpuscles. Lamella is Latin for thin plate, so something that is lamellar has a bunch of thin plates. In other words, it has layers. And if you've ever seen the movie Shrek, you'd know that onions also have layers. So what do these onion skin-like corpuscles do anyway? Shift your gaze down at our contestant's back where I'm hard at work. Man, this vibrating massager is really something. Just look at this thing buzz away. This vibration should help you remember that Pacinian corpuscles are responsible for detecting vibration. You can bet this gamer is feeling the vibe now. I better make it into his victory speech. Ouch, you're pressing down too hard, I can't play. Uh-oh, looks like I've been putting on a little too much pressure. I've got to stop working out so much. What? Don't believe me. Go subscribe to the Pixarized Instagram and find out for yourself. Anyway, see those creases in our player's shirt? This deep pressure should remind you of the other sensing function of Pacinian corpuscles, deep touch or deep pressure. Yep, in addition to sensing vibration, Pacinian corpuscles are responsible for detecting pressure. I'm talking about sensing a poke, or maybe some guy pushing a massager hard into your back. Just remember me pressing down deeply here to remember that Pacinian corpuscles are also responsible for sensing deep touch. Whoa, this guy really is a champion. Just look at how fast his hands move. The quick movements of our pack guy player here should help you remember that Pacinian corpuscles adapt quickly. In other words, they require a constantly changing stimulus in order to sustain action potentials. If the stimulus does not change, they won't detect it after a period of time. Now think about vibration. Something that vibrates constantly moves back and forth. Since a stimulus like this is constantly changing, the Pacinian corpuscle is good at detecting it. Anyway, as we mentioned, the ability to adapt quickly is represented by our Pat Guy player here. You have to adapt quickly to stay alive in Pat Guy, right? Before we close out, let's provide one last clinical tie-in to explain why sensory receptors like the Pacinian corpuscle even matter. Ever heard of diabetic peripheral neuropathy? Over time, high blood sugar can damage sensory receptors as well as the nerve fibers innervating them. One finding you may see is the loss of sensation in the extremities, including vibration. This is why clinicians use tuning forks to test for vibration sense, which can be an indicator of how bad the peripheral neuropathy has gotten. What you should remember here, though, is that in patients with diabetes, the Pacinian corpuscles and or their innervating fibers can get knocked out, leading to a loss of vibration sense. This is just a quick clinical tie-in, since step one writers just love testing you on clinical stuff. All right, now we're done with the Pacinian corpuscle. Let's do a quick recap and close out this pack guy competition so I can have a turn at the game. Pacinian corpuscles are sensory receptors found in deep layers of the skin, as well as in deep tissues like joints and ligaments. Their structure is composed of concentric rings, or lamellae, kind of like the skin of an onion. Pacinian corpuscles are responsible for sensing vibration and deep touch. Importantly, these corpuscles adapt quickly, which means that they need a constantly moving or a dynamic stimulus in order to keep conducting impulses. 
All right, now that's it for Piscinian corpuscles. Man, I could use a dedicated massager as I study for my exam. Couldn't we all? See you next time. Thanks for watching. For more videos like this one, click here to subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also support our team by visiting pixarize.com, where you'll find exclusive videos and interactive review images. If you like what we're doing, share with your friends on social media, and we'll keep making great content like this. We'll see you next time.